Welcome everyone. So today we're gonna be doing a little video game collection tour kind of thing. So we're gonna be checking out a lot of my video games that I have. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Number one is Skyline Ship Chargers. I hate this game. Okay, it's not good in any way. I do not recommend it. It's not good. None of the none of the character I never use any of the characters even when I'm playing Skylanders. When I really do. So yeah. Skyland Superchargers. Yeah. Next one, I do recommend this one. Skylanders Trap Team. This is a really good one. I love this one. Um I don't know. So it's basically the same as basically every other Skylanders game. This is pre owned. So yeah, so it's just the same, same game, basically, a couple changes. Okay, next one is Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Now this one, again, I recommend this one as well, um, over the other two that they made. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything to say. It's just the, yeah, it's just Lego, it's just that. This one is Lego Marvel Avengers. Now, if I if my disc still worked, you know, I would and I'd actually be able to beat the game, and I'd actually be able to see if this game is good or not. Oh yeah, this is Lego Marvel Avengers. Next is Lego Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Now, I do recommend this one. This one's a really good one. Um, but I still recommend the Clone Saga. That's out. Uh, another good one. So yeah. Yeah, this is for, all, for the Xbox games, it's Call of Duty Black Ops collection, so it's just the three Call of Duty Black Ops games. So yeah, I recommend Call of Duty Black Ops 2, I don't know about Black Ops 3, Black Ops 1, I just don't really like. But now we're going to get into the, um, the Switch games. So first one is Overwatch. Now, I, I actually really wanted this game, I was like, yes, I really want Overwatch. Now I'm just like, oh, Overwatch. Cool. I give it a nice little glance. I give it a good five second glance and then I stop. And I leave. So yeah, next is Lego Ninjago. And this is the Lego Ninjago movie video game. Now if you really like Ninjago, especially the movie, then I recommend this for you. But if you're like me and have never seen anything other than the movie, then I don't, then just don't, then don't buy this. Okay, I wa I kind of enjoyed the movie. It wasn't that bad. There were some parts that were funny and kind of made me laugh. Mostly because that's what Lego is. It's just funny. A lot of those were just like, oh. I don't know, is this a reference? Am I supposed to understand this? Or what? So yeah, next is um, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Now, again, same thing as Overwatch. I really wanted this game. I was like, yes, I really want this game. Yeah, this isn't worth $65. This is not worth it. Okay, I played with Nabbit through the entire story mode and was like, I'm done with this game. So, yeah. Um, so, just like they do basically every Switch game when they run out of ideas, it's just port, um, it's just port Wii U games over here while adding a couple tweaks and then being, and then being like, okay, yeah. You know, all we, all we did was add a couple, uh, two new characters. All right, let's go skip that. Next is a game that I really enjoyed playing, and I recommend this to you. I, I think I'm actually going to play this after I'm done recording. Lego Movie 2 Video Game. Now, again, I really enjoyed this game. This game's a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah. I have... Actually, no, I'm, probably, I'm not going to tell you anything so far. Okay, I'm going to wait. I'll do a couple gameplay videos on this, and I'll show you everything. I've got. So yeah, if you really like the movie, like a movie, I recommend this one. Especially this, I have seen the movie. It is pretty funny. Mm -hmm. It is pretty funny. That's not all I did there. Next is a game that I just don't like. I just personally don't like Splatoon 2. Yeah, I don't like Splatoon to begin with. It's just not fun for me. Okay, but it's just not fun. Okay, I know Splatoon 3 is coming out next year. You cannot see me waste, you will not see me waste 
$65 on this game. I just will not wait. I mean, not $65. I will not waste $60 on this game. Okay. I'll waste $60 on Michael Stiles and Skywalker Saga. I will waste $60 on my Alpo. So I'm not good. Okay, the Amiibos. I only have three Amiibos. Not as good. Tons of games. Next is one of one of one of the worst games that I have. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, it is bad. I just don't quite like it. Great value, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Or Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Again, you can see the kind of Wii U sort of thing where they just add a ton of new characters and then just, like, fix them up to make them look new when that Rocket Raccoon. I, we haven't seen that set. We haven't seen that, that minifigure since, like, 2018. We haven't seen this group minifigure from, like, till, from, like, 2017, okay? A lot of these figures from movies from 2017, from 2018 back. And if I'm wrong about um, the date, because the, new, the newest set that I believe that he was, that Rocket Raccoon was in, is the, one of the Infinity War sets. So yeah, you, can, you know, you can see how much effort they put into this. So you don't even fight any, you don't even fight a good villain, you just fight Kang the Conqueror. It's not even that good. It's not, it's just not a good, it's not good, it's not buy it. So next is um, a game that I revisited. It's, it's still good. It's not as good as other games from this franchise, but hey, what can you do? It's Lego DC Super Villains. So yeah, it's just, it's, I don't know. The newer versions of the characters aren't as good as the older versions. From Lego, from Lego Batman in the video game. Okay, the Joker, Joker is good. Madden is good. Reverse Flash was in that game. He wasn't in that game. He wasn't in that game. These two weren't in that game, and none of these characters besides Joker and all that guy. And so you can see in this game, there's no one. I don't know. So yeah, they just updated it, and it's just not as fun. I know you get to make your own villain. I do enjoy that. Um, so yeah, there's a DLC pack that kind of gets you classic villains. Like you get like classic Two Face, and it looks really cool. Not they're not classic. They just look the classic version. The next is a game that was, in my opinion, was good for a couple. Times like I, I, I again same thing as like Overwatch. I really wanted this game, and then when I got it, um, yeah, I just beat the story mode, got a ton of characters, got a decent amount of characters, played through it a couple times, and was just like, yeah, I'm done. I don't really like this game. Like the incredible. Now the other thing that I did like about this game, and that's probably been in probably one other game that I know of the cross characters so in this game you'll see like a bunch of other pixar characters like linguini and dory and all that you know they did the same thing with i believe with lego star was a complete saga and i believe there was no trilogy where they added indiana jones they did not add indiana jones into this game so don't be expecting indiana jones so yeah there's that next one is a game that Looked cool. I got it for Christmas, and I was like, "Cool, I got this game." And yeah, and I I beat I got really far in the game, and then I got and then the hard part. So I was like, "Okay, it's Luigi's Mansion 3. This wasn't the game on my wish list. I didn't really want this game. This was not a good game. Well, okay, it was. Not, not okay. I'm not. I don't. This was the only Luigi's Mansion game that I've ever played in my life. Um, and I still think the first one's better. I've never played it. So next is, um, a game that I believe I got. To, um, I don't, how, how did I get this? I think I was like, oh, it's Super Mario Party. So I think I was, I think I was just walking in the store and I was like, oh, Super Mario Party. I'm going to buy it. And yeah, I don't. I got all the characters. It's just you just won't see me playing hours and hours of Super Mario Party. Besides, two hours will get you two games. 
Oh yeah, and I, and I haven't even won. I don't even win half the time. So yeah, there's good characters in this game that I really like playing as, like Bowser Jr. and a couple other characters. And then there's other characters like Peach and Rosalina. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm never gonna touch them. I'm never gonna play with them. Uh, next is a game that I got for Christmas. I mean, it was kind of on my wish list. I kind of was like, oh, cool. I kind of might. I think I might like this. And I was just like, oh. And then I was just, I played it for a while, got to a hard part. Again, it's the same thing as the Luigi's Mansion. Played it for a while, got to a hard part, and I was like, I'm done. It's more, it's more of Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order. I mean, it's not. I don't know. The characters are good for the amount of characters that I've unlocked. I still want to unlock Deadpool. Um, so yeah, this game, the only real thing that made a difference in this game was that they added, um, Thanos as a playable character. Yes, you can play Thanos. Other than that, the game is just a game. It's nothing good, nothing bad. Next, the game that people still really play, and they're adding way too many sword, ca sword characters. Like, seriously, where is our Crash DLC? It's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like, seriously, where is our Crash DLC? I want Crash the Fighter, and I want Pyro and Mithra. I don't want, want Sephiroth. I don't care for him or for them. Okay, so yeah, Smash, uh, Smash Bros. Good game. This is not the first Smash Bros. game that I've played. The first Smash Bros. game that I played was Brawl. And that was really the only other game that I've played, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So yeah. The only two characters that I like playing as are K. Rool and Bowser Jr. I mean, kind of, I kind of like playing with Mario. And the rest of the characters I just don't care for, like um, um, Palutena, new Palutena, Lisa Trainer, Ryu and Ken, um, Rosalina again. I don't like playing as her. Pokemon Trainer, uh, the uh, Smash Bros. Good game, really good game. I do kind of enjoy it sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, now this is actually one of the first games that I ever got for the Switch, and I am sad that it's the last game in the series. I'm actually very sad it's the last game in the series. Because most games are just mobile games, and then still not good. This game was well, kind of a swing and a mess. Wasn't really a swing and a mess, it was kind of a swing and kind of a hit. It's Skylanders Imaginators. Now, this game was actually really fun. I got it for the Switch, so I didn't need to get the, all the figures. I just kind of stood in the store with my Switch, being suspicious, kind of like scanning them and saving them. And then, so yeah, that's all I did. I just went in, like, Walmart, and I was just like, oh, chaos. I'm going to save you forever. So if you didn't know for the Switch, on um your Joy-Con... Um, it's that like left one right there. You'd stick it. You'd stick your character on the N N NFC touch point or whatever it is right there on the um the right joy con, and you'd scan them two times, and it would save that character in forever, so you don't have to scan them again. So yeah, either I bought them, I bought characters that I needed like Crash and Cortex, and a lot of the trap team characters. Scan them twice, save them in. And then, and then return them to the store. So yeah, the next game is a game that um I originally borrowed from someone, and I had, and I returned it one time, and I really wanted it back, and then I got it for Christmas. It's Super Mario Odyssey. I really enjoyed this game playing it. I really enjoyed playing this game. I beat it too many times. Actually, no, I just kind of replayed the final boss a lot of times. It's fun. You should play it. Yeah, you'd be a dinosaur. If you don't like a dinosaur, you'd be Goombas. If you don't like Goombas, you'd be a fish. Oh, if you don't like fish, you could be a tank. Oh, if you don't like tanks, you can be a bolt bill. Oh, if you don't like a bolt bill, you can be, um... Yeah, you can basically be basically anything that you see in the game. Oh, you see a random enemy that looks really cool? Boom. Nine, nine, nine out of ten chances that you can play with them. Next is a game that um, I, I wanted. You do that or a different game, a SpongeBob game. I got it in the mail, and when I got it, I was like, cool, I'm just gonna play. I played it a couple times, it was pretty fun, and I don't play it. 
at all. I mean, there's been some, like, family game nights that, that I've done where we played this. And it's really fun. Mario Tennis Aces is the game that I was talking about. So, yeah, a couple family game nights we'd just be playing. It'd be me, mom, my dad, and then the NPC. No, not the NPC. It'd be the, um, the CPU. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So it'd either be me and my mom, or me and my dad, or me and the CPU playing against whoever. So yeah, a lot of family game. We played this a lot of family game nights. So yeah, this game is pretty fun. Next, we're getting into a game that I kind of enjoy. It's pretty fun. It's Crash the yeah, It's Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. Now this game is really good. Um, I was coming home from a basketball game. My dad was taking me home, and I was looking through all the, the glove boxes and all that, and I was like, ooh, there must be, he must have bought me Crash, and lucky enough, I happened to catch a glimpse of Crash, and I was like, yes, he bought me it, and I was like, I already know, and he was like, oh, I'm gonna shoot, I shoot, oh, dang it, well, okay, here you go, you, but you gotta play one game, and then when you beat that game, you can go on to the next one. Yeah, that slowly backfired, considering I've... So one day I was like, please, I really want to play Crash 3. So I played Crash 3, and then I moved Crash 2, and then I moved Crash 1. I'm still trying to beat Crash 1. First game that I beat was Crash 3, because that was the easiest, and in my opinion, the best. Crash 2, yeah, it took me a while to beat. Um, yeah, no, Cortex is harder than that game. And Crash 1, we don't talk about Crash 1. We just don't, we just don't talk about Crash 1. This is another Wii U port game, adding one tweak and being like, yeah, no, we can put this on the Switch, kids will love it. And they still charge for full price, even though I didn't get this on the Wii U, I don't even have a Wii U. And yeah, Donkey Kong comes through Tropical Freeze. Um, again, uh, same thing as Overwatch and all the other games. I really wanted this game, and then when I got it, I was like, oh, cool. Played it a couple times, it got hard, I was like, nah, I'm done. So yeah, the only, the only two characters that I really like are Funky. And you can only play as Funky. When you, if you play as Funky, you can only play as Funky. So yeah, Funky is basically invincible. He's basically the Nabbit of this game. If you don't know who Nabbit is, he's from this game. He's invincible. But not, don't, he's not Funky. He's not very, he's not really invincible. Now this game, <laughs> I hate this game. I never want to play this game again. Just Dance 2018. You can say that, you can, I'll say the same thing about any, whoops, sorry about that. And about any of the other I love Just Dance games. I hate having to get up, play video games, and move around and dance. Especially doing all the weird dances, dance moves that they make me do. I've only played a couple. I've only played Despacito, 24 k Magic. Um, hmm, I've only played Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. And, a couple of, and I think a couple of other ones. And then I was like... Yeah, I'm gonna play this not many times. Um, so this game again, it's another game like Just Dance. I, I didn't. Uh, I also didn't really want this. I didn't really want this game. It was Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. I don't like Pokemon. Pokemon's not my thing. You can ask anyone who I know. Pokemon's not my th not my thing. If I play this about. Two times. I've played this about like five times. And I've just been like, oh, fun. There's Pikachu. And there's other Pikachu. And that's basically every Pokemon that I know. And I did I did have a lot of Pokemon cards just to collect them. Okay, just to collect them. I remember in um, first grade, what kid in my class, he loves Pokemon. He's like, hey, I'm handing out free Pokemon cards. And I was like, whoa, cool. And I took a bunch of them. I almost, and I almost made a deal with the devil. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. One of my friends was like, dude, if you trade me on the Joker, a Lego Joker minifigure, I'll give you this Pikachu Pokemon card. And I was like, that sure takes a lot of thinking. And it was the new Lego Batman movie Joker. That time it was new. With um, like the coattails. You just want it for the coattails, I feel like. And I was like, yeah, maybe. I never gave him that. 
Uh, I still got a Pikachu Pokemon card, and then now I lost them. Now I don't even know where they are. Again, same. Okay, so same thing as um, my card. I mean, not my card. Um, Skyland. This is where we, when I got my Switch, um, this game came a little, kind of. It was my card to lost. Again, it's another basically Wii U game ported over to the Switch with one with like one new detail. And that that's really only adding the um the feather, the bow, um, and adding inkling. Um, what's her name? Isabel and Link into the game. And that was really it. They added a couple more cards. They added Breath of the Wild. They added a card for Breath of the Wild. I don't really like this game. I don't. I, just, I think Double Dash is the best one I like game. We're almost done. Um, so we're getting down to the final four. So, at number four, Mario Kart. I mean, not Mario Kart. Mario Maker 2. Again, this is another game that I really wanted and I got. Uh, it was pretty fun. I, put, I, I made a bunch of levels, submitted them. I downloaded the world from a YouTuber. Um, so yeah, the only problem I have is they already released their final update. I want them to add another, um, game mode, or the game, and I, I kind of want it to be, like, something cool, like maybe a Game Boy game or whatever, but no, the only game, the only thing that they really did was they kept, okay, yeah, no, so the only thing that they really did was they took Mario Maker, and they are like, like, what can we do to make it better? And they're like, I know, let's take out the amiibo costumes, add in one new gameplay style, which is Super Mario 3D World, and leave the, and basically leave the rest in, and add a story mode. After one year of developing, one year of developing, plus tons of cool updates, like adding the Koopa rings, boom, you've got this game. You know, the last update in the game was the Koopa rings, where you get the Koopa rings, I don't know. Alright, final three. At number three, this is no order. This is not my. This is not my favorite. This is not my least favorite to favorite. This is just the simple order in it. So at number three, we've got a, a, we've got some a new topic. It's called mobile games being ported to the Switch. And this one, and so far from what I know, there's only one. Hopefully, Candy Crush is coming to the Switch. It's Garfield's Cart. Yeah, again, I got this one for Christmas, and I was like, cool, Garfield coat. I can play as a mouse. Play as a mouse. And I really only played as a mouse. I played this once. It was on Christmas morning. And I was like, cool. Yeah, I'm never going to touch this again. Alright, final two. Here we go. Um, Next one is... Another game that I really loved playing. I love playing this, and I'm sad that they already released their final update. Their final Grand Prix. If you foreshadowing for two se two seconds later, foreshadowing, two seconds early, foreshadowing. In this game that I will take to a hotel, foreshadowing to probably my next video. Um, because it'll bring back a memory from last year when I went to a hotel. And I bought this game, and it was the same day when the. I cannot show you the game, it's Crash Team Racing Metrofield. So, yeah, back to my story. This is the same day that um, the final update, the. Um, uh, what is it called? Like the, um, the one with Emperor Vila 27th, if you know what I'm talking about. And if you ever played this game, it's, it's the one with. Um, with the, it's that update. That update was the last update to come out. Um, and, I was just, well, not the last update coming out, but the last Grand Prix, and I was like, oh, it's the last Grand Prix. It's really sad. And I started playing it when we got to the hotel, I connected to, I, as fast as I could, connected to their Wi-Fi, and I was like, quick, I must play Crash. So, yeah, it was a good Grand Prix, I didn't complete it. Meh. It was, the Grand Prix was okay. So, yeah. Thank you, Beanox, for give, making this game really fun. And sadly, there were a couple characters, actually, that they could have added, but they didn't. I'm mad. Be evil twins. I could have added them. So, yeah, the last game in my list 
is one of my favorite games. I will be also, I will be playing this as soon as I'm done recording. Okay, as soon as I'm done recording, I will be playing this game. Okay, I love this game. I am almost done with it, sadly. I really wish I'm not. Okay, I really wish I'm back to level one. So, yeah, and this game is SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Now, if you know me, I love SpongeBob. Okay, I am the kind of guy that when they release a new SpongeBob episode, I will physically reschedule everything that I have on that day and on that time just to watch that episode of Spongebob. Oh, I got a doctor's appointment. I gotta reschedule it for next week. It's in the middle of Spongebob. I can't. Just kidding. That's not actually what I do. I actually go to my doctor's appointment to just record it. See, so yeah, I really love this game. Um, It's got... um, I'm on the last level. Not the last level of the game. I'm on the last world, I guess you say. The Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Yeah, I've gotten, I haven't gotten very far. I can get 75 golden spatulas, which I'm at like... 60 something probably and then i can enter the uh, final boss the kiln bucket so yeah this was the last game in my list and yeah we've not gotten a new spongebob game since and i want a new spongebob game we solo be on spongebob maybe something with like spongebob racing and it's just like all the spongebob characters you can play it Play as all of them. Actually, no. Here, I have, here I have something cool. Um, it's not a game or anything cool. It's just a concept that I want to take. Oh, yeah. So take Mario Kart right here. Take Mario Kart. Take out Mario. And everything that has to do with Mario. And add Spongebob. And you can play a Spongebob pack of Sandy, Mr. Krabs. That'd be cool. And then you can... Play we yeah, some of like the classic areas of the game of the of Bikini Bottom. Like, um, you can do SpongeBob Packers House. You can like race around Bikini Bottom with Sean Bucket and all that. Yeah, I think that'd be a really cool game. I'd definitely buy it and play it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there'll be a new there'll be a new video coming out probably tomorrow, probably even tonight maybe if you if I'm lucky. So yeah. Goodbye.